Hey everyone, it's Vlogmas Day 18. God, it's raining again. So my tumble dryer is playing up, so I've got two loads of washing. I'm taking them down to my mum's house, she said she'd do them for me. So I'm going to go down to the chip shop, pick up some sausage and chips. Might pop in the charity shop if I've got time. Might not. And then uh, we'll head off and I'll show you the decorations at my mum's house. I'll get some washing dry because it's mostly her stuff, but there's also some of Paul's. I'll see you in a bit. There are chocolates on the Christmas tree. Can you reach it, Jennifer? Can you reach it? Chocolate. Do you want it? You can have it. Can't have it if you don't take it off. You took him off before, haven't you? Nearly. Oh, you are clever. She is, isn't she? Can you pull that one off, Jennifer? Yeah, yeah she can pull it off. Ooh. Nearly. It's a bit, a bit too far on, is it? Yeah. <laughs> well, it fell off. There it is. What have you got? Is that right? <laughs> what have you done to it? Years. Now, chocolate. Me, There's chocolate, that is. Mm. The they going to start taking it off for you. No, I want it. No. Jennifer and her Christmas chocolates. Mm -hmm. It'll be the first World Cup ever staged in the wintertime. There have been criticisms over how workers building the stadiums are being treated and allegations of corruption. But what will a Qatar World Cup look and feel like? Hassan <laughs> Al-Bani, the Secretary General of the Organising Committee, says the event will give fans a unique experience. It's an opportunity for people to experience, yeah, chocolate. Us, experience the agriculture, the richness and the rich heritage and culture that we have to offer. Mm. And that's, I think, what the World Cup is. Ah, look, it's chocolate peanut. People here will be able to come, they'll be able to enjoy themselves, celebrate, and the sun, sand, and beach. And at the same time, more importantly, you won't have one tomorrow, so you can have it today. And at the same time, us, as our own, as Qataris, will be able to welcome the world, showcase to them who we are, and at the same time, they break it for you. Don't they break it? Yeah, your mouth's not big enough, Jen. It's an opportunity to bring people together. It's an opportunity to. Within our that one's tough. That's a hard one. Yeah. Okay, got a good angle. Mm. The tens of thousands has been left out of draft proposals for a new immigration system. The target was originally set by David Cameron and Ooh, remains a conservative in that. manifesto commitment. The final version of the much delayed immigration plan, which aims to end free movement from the EU after Brexit, has yet to be agreed. What's that? What's that? A couple from Oxfordshire found guilty of being members of the ban neo Nazi group. <laughs> you love that, don't you? Do you like that, Peanut? We're not going to make too much mess this time. Yeah. You beautiful girl. <laughs> yeah, I knew you want the big bit. I might break it. Up. Child who have been Ooh, you choke into it. There you go. The have been rescued from a boat 18 miles oh, off Dunkirk. <laughs> It comes just days after six migrants were rescued off the coast of Kent. French rescuers took three... Oh, ah, yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum, yum. Migrants were suffering from hypothermia. Wonderful girl. You enjoy your chocolate. So just got back in from mum's and dad. Mum and dad, it's, it's absolutely horrendous out there. It's really raining and it's freezing cold rain. And I actually got back to the car because they're probably in it. So I'm all worried about getting Jennifer out because it's so cold. Deep in her pram. So I won't wake her up and put her in her car and leave her there for now because she'll just get upset. She'll probably go back to sleep but I'm actually going to put my pyjamas on because it's freezing cold and I'm soaking. Pyjamas on now so I'm looking quietly because Jennifer's asleep. So just made a nice big cup of tea. It's very misty on there as you can see in my Christmas mug. And here, I'll show you that in a minute. 
I have a nice big pack of clippings from my source in London. So quite a few years ago I bought a pack of Marilyn clippings off a guy in London. And so what he does is every six months or so he contacts me by email and says, Oh, I've got some more clippings for you. Do you want one? I just dropped one on the floor. And uh, what year was that from? 17. Let me just put that back in the 17 pile. I think that was 17 as well. Yeah. Uh, basically, he then just messaged me to say, I've got some clippings. Do you want them? And I go, yes, please, because what I do is make a mess, obviously. I collect them, I put them in my scrapbooks, uh, or if it's that 17, that's 15, okay, so that's 14, and that's 17, so they go in there. So a lot of stuff that he sends me is from, has been from this year, there was a lot from this year. And a lot from last year, which is great. And I'll put them into my folders because currently I'm working on a scrapbook that is 2010. And one of the reasons that I don't really rush and make them is because of the amount of stuff that I get from this guy. So some of them's rubbish. That's about her star being outside of McDonald's. This one, I think, was about the Milton Green book, which is great because I haven't got this article. I remember it when it came out, and I was looking for copies on eBay, but I, I didn't buy them in the end, so... And then... That one. So it's great. I mean, some of the articles, they're always a bit dubious. This one's about Jerry Lewis. A nice picture of him in Maryland, 53. And then How Monroe Lost Out on Movie Classic, which was Breakfast at Tiffany's. And enormous Jean. <laughs> some of the some of the headlines out there are terrible. Um, Dame Joan, Marilyn, Tommy, all that season in Hollywood. One day you'll see all these again in a scrapbook. But I, I said I'm only on 2010 at the moment. So some of these I should have got off my mum, and I don't think I've got them. I might have, um, because my parents read the Daily Mirror. JFK Brother Hill, always, it's always all that nonsense. So. Listen, talk about Marilyn and me. This is Marilyn and Joe. I haven't read these yet. I will read them. I tend to read them when I'm making the scrapbooks. I will do another scrapbook um, flip through soon. I've got two ready down here to do it, and I just haven't got around to doing it because I've been doing other things. So just make sure you can't see anything naughty. We can't actually, it's all covered up. But something's got to give. One of Jennifer's toys. And there's another one. Bobby and Marilyn again. I raised my eyebrows at you. Again. It's a nice picture of Marilyn. Sometimes there's just little no news and there's a picture. Or there's an, an article which isn't relevant. But it's got a picture and I just cut the pictures out. That's about the Wardorf Astoria. Now I could get rid of it. But I probably will actually keep that. This was this year. This was. They're not in any order. I will put them into order before they go up again Milton Green pictures always nice to see always nice to see Milton Green Marion Lingerie on sale Playboy the first cover which was a British magazine called Leader and I got uh, Arthur Miller Why I Missed Marilyn's Funeral and then, then we got the Marilyn's Lost nude scene, which was a scene from the Misfits. And then Daily Mirror again. I should have this one, but I'm pretty sure I didn't get this off my mum. Which is amazing because it's quite a big... I might have this one, actually. If I had this, would go in my duplicate pack, which I'd sell to uh, Marin fans on Facebook. Um, I've seen these pictures before, so... <laughs> or some of them. Um, yeah, there's a, a Marilyn buying and selling group on there, and I sell my duplicate clippings. So unseen pics of Monroe before fame. So these are all the from this year. She has nice clothes, not many from this year. Let me just fold that one back up. I'm sure your Marilyn fans who are watching this will be very excited. Then I've got one French article, 
And they do collect fine articles if I get them. I've got a folder full of fine articles. Um, and then we've got 100 Best Classic Recordings. This is from 2009, so because I've done 2010, or I'm on 2010, 2009. This is about Thomas Noguchi, who was the coroner who did Marilyn's autopsy and who the coroner Quincy was based on, the TV series Quincy. So although Quincy was quintessentially American and obviously Noguchi is Japanese-American, I believe. <laughs> Yeah, Japanese American. Um, it was based on him, so I, I that'd be quite interesting. Actually. And then the last one, so that goes into the archive. Uh, it doesn't go into an actual scrapbook. Is from 1976. I think this is one of the oldest ones he's ever sent. Um, there were some pictures from 1968, and this is about Misty Rowe and her the film that she made, Goodbye Norma Jean. Terrible movie, absolutely terrible movie, but it's uh, about that. So that was what was in that fitting pack. So I think there's probably maybe one one duplicate that uh, I can uh, put into my duplicates pack, which is over there because um, I'm going to sort out. I usually sell them in packs of 30 for £15 plus postage. So if you're a Marilyn fan, um, I will send it anywhere in the world. Hit me up and just say you want some clip-ins. I will put you, most of them are British by the way, they are mostly British, there may be an odd American one in there but they are mostly British clippings, so if you're in America or France, Germany, Australia and you want some British clippings, just let me know, it's 15 UK pounds and plus postage, just uh, let me know in the comments below and we'll get in touch somehow and uh, you know, we'll send them to you, otherwise they'll be posted on Facebook, uh, Marilyn Buying and Selling Group. I bought some clothes down the charity shop, one of them, the ones I go to, and other than one item, I think it was 50p, very wet carry bag, so this was a pound, and it's, it's just really nice, I'm, I'm going to ke probably keep this, this is Elizabeth Scott, I don't know the brand at all, I don't think it's a particularly special brand, it's probably a catalogue brand, but it's a size medium, but it's massive for a medium, it says medium on it. Yeah, but it's massive. It's lovely. If it doesn't fit me, then it, my mum will probably have it. Um, but like I said, I'm thinking of doing some biting and selling next year, so I might sell some of this. I usually buy stuff for my mum, because she won't buy clothes. This is just a blouse. I can't really see it on this phone. But this is French Connection. I haven't seen French Connection for years. It's just a really nice long blouse. It's got long sleeves, but you can't see it. It's just, really, it's just a really nice blouse. It's a bit damp, where it's been in, the, in a... a wet carrier bag. So this is the size. It's upside down. Made in India. I don't think there's a size on it. It just says it's a size large. It's nice though. And then I got this. Horrible colour but it is by Karen Millen. Karen Millen. If you see that just there. Size 12. I don't think this has been worn because it's still got the button bag attached to it. And I don't know about you, I don't go out with a button badge on it, so... This, the place, this, this place, this was 50 pence. And it's kind of a beige colour. And beige is supposed to be in next year, which is cool. And then I got a Savoir... Savoir top in brown with really nice beading. This is a size 22. So, that's nice. Long sleeve top. Can't really see it, but. Last two. Um, what's this? This is. This is just Marks and Spencer. I just liked it. Excuse me. Just a grey and. I think it's grey. Black floral top. With lace applique at the top, short sleeve, it's just really nice. What size is this? Is this a small, medium, or large size, or is it a proper size? That's 14, that's a good size. And the last one I bought was Hilfiger denim, and it's brown and beige. Small, it's got a pin in it. I don't know whether one of that's in there, but. It has got a little bit of a 
thing on it. That was just a bit of straw. I think the person that donated these actually had something to do with horses because there was an equestrian vest there. So it's sort of like pink and brown. That's really nice. Little figure den denim, small jumper. It's pretty. I don't think it's really small because it doesn't look like it's a teeny tiny size. It's the flash, you can't really see it on the light. Cotton, 100% cotton. Product care, 800 Tommy Cares. It's nice. Hilfiger yeah. denim. Proper stitched label. Nice. It's actually just a really nice jumper, actually. So that's what I bought down the charity place because I thought they were nice. So, yeah, we'll see. Well, that's about it for today. Um, I'm going to develop this one film soon. This film was in one of the boxes. I used box Brownie camera. Um, that I bought at auction. And there's the, the, box, the original box. There's actually a roll of film in the camera as well that's not been used. Now, this is a very old roll of film and I know this because it expired August 1963. So that was 11 years before I was born. Um, so I'm going to put this in a tank and see if I can develop it. I'm, I'm probably film it. I'm going to use a stand development, so it's basically you just put so much chemical, so much water in, you leave it stand for an hour, hence the name stand development. When the weather gets brighter, I'm going to actually use that camera and then use that roll of film and then do the same with that. But, uh, here's Peanut saying goodnight. Say goodnight, Peanut. Yeah. And we'll see you tomorrow.